All right, there is finally news about a new gateway coming out for T-Mobile Home Internet, and it has some great new features, and I have to admit some very bad things that I don't like about it. Now, this is um, really one of the latest ones that came out. It's been a couple years now. Uh, this is their G4AR, and it's the first time they had a white box. I do have other gateways. I've had all their gateways back for them, um, even the 4G uh, time frame. So this is one of their other ones. This is the Sagemcom. And the big thing with the old gateways is that they did not have external antenna ports and the um, G4AR and its uh, sibling, the um, uh, G4SE, which is just two manufacturers, pretty much the same um, gateway, had external antenna ports here. That was huge for people that wanted to put on an external antenna like this Waveform Quad Pro, which can really help your signal. I have lots of videos on that if you are interested. But if you don't have the external antenna ports, these other gateways, you can modify and you can see here I have these little uh, pigtails which you have to take apart the gateway and um, put a little pigtail on the board, unplug the in internal um, antenna and then you get these little SMA connectors come out, they, then you can screw in your antenna. So that, that is a workaround and for all of the T-Mobile gateways, there have been ways to do that. It looks like this new one is probably going to be kind of difficult uh, potentially to take apart and do that. But um, let's go into what is good about the gateway itself. And for those new to the channel, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. I do uh, encourage you to hit that like button on the video down below. And then also consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more stuff like this and support the channel. So on to the mobile report online. This is a independent website that uh, gives you all kind of news. Um, so I'll put a link to that down in the video description uh, below. And here you can see that they released um, information on July 17th, 2025 about the new gateway. And in here, one of the things they reference is two things. One is the FCC releases information about any device that um, FCC controls and you can get links to it um, right here. So I'll put a link to that one as well. But this is where the FCC actually breaks down uh, the information, the testing, and it's really great because if you scroll down here into uh, some of these uh, details, it gives you all this technical stuff. But if you keep scrolling and you find it, you can find a pictures uh, of the device. So the FCC actually tears apart the unit and takes pictures of all sorts of things. So that's where you can come in here and really see what um, maybe you can glean from just this information. So here's internal external photos. So you can click on one of these things here. All right, so it's not exactly the most user friendly on a tablet here, but I did get um, the external uh, picture uh, link open and here you can see that it looks similar uh, to the G4 AR. Uh, so that's a fourth gen uh, unit and AR is for our Arcadian, the manufacturer of there. Um, and the biggest thing here is on the bottom of the unit where you can see here, this one has two ethernet ports, which they're yellow, which means they're one gig ethernet ports, which is another um, comment about it, which is bad. Um, but then it has the two USB ports, it has the SIM card, but it's missing the external antenna port. So that is crazy to me. Now there are chances that these pictures are not always 100% representative. I have seen the um, units change from these FCC pictures to when they actually release it. So there is a slight chance that those antenna ports actually show back up here. Um, but uh, on uh, first look here, they do not exist. So otherwise it looks like it's probably a very similar interface. Uh, it could even be the same screen and three buttons there as this one. Then it gives you adapter pictures and then also you can go in here and you can see the internal pictures of it taking apart. Um, and uh, let's go uh, down here a little bit more from where uh, the mobile report reports out some other information that they get. They have some insider information uh, and these are like screenshots from T-Mobile's uh, interface and they tell you it's 2x the speed um, and then there's more stable connection and lower latency. Now the way I read this quite frankly is because uh, it says the incremental eligibility and supportability. I'm actually thinking that might be tied to their 5G standalone or 5G SA uh, rollout that the new one is going to be um, better at connecting to and supporting. Because when we look at the modem that's inside of it, it does go to a newer modem, um, but it's still not uh, cutting edge or the latest modem. So it, it's going to do perhaps better at connecting and aggregating more. I think it's going to be better at 5G SA and those 5G SA capability is really what's giving you the faster speed 
uh, and the lower latency. And part of that rollout is a um, improvement on the upload technology of being able to aggregate more bands and have more bandwidth um, set up for your uh, 5G upload, not just your 5G download. So people that are getting like, you know, a couple hundred megabits uh, per second of download, but they're getting like one, two or three megabits per second of upload, they're really struggling with that. The new gateway might help uh, with that based off this new technology and the new um, version of the 5G advanced uh, connectivity. The other thing worth mentioning on the G5AR is that it switches from a Wi-Fi 6 device that this one is to a Wi-Fi 7. So the Wi-Fi 7 is newer uh, Wi-Fi technology. It has faster speed, uh, better coverage. So that is certainly a good thing. Um, but like I said, the um, Ethernet ports are not updated. So I have gotten over one gig per second on uh, T-Mobile, but I've used a third-party gateway. I'll talk about that here in a second. Um, uh, but it is certainly capable. And if you have something like that speed, these stock T-Mobile gateways will not support it because they're limited to their um, one gig Ethernet ports. All right, so if we look here, this is where the mobile report does show you some of these key uh, pictures that I just showed you from the FCC. And in here is the internal one that you can see. It does have the U.FL connectors on the board that are accessible once you take it apart. Um, that's important because that means that it should be able to be um, uh, hooked up to an external antenna still. Uh, there are some gateways from like Verizon, for example, that don't have those ports, so you can't do it at all. All right, and then one option for people that have not wanted to disassemble the other gateways or couldn't get uh, one of these newer gateways, uh, T-Mobile does not let you like call and say, hey, I want the new version and switch it out. You can sometimes sweet talk a corporate store for trading out your device, but it's very hit or miss. I have videos on that. This one here is a third-party gateway that I reference a lot. And the beauty of this stuff is, one, it has all these uh, external antenna ports. You can just screw off these antennas and throw in an external one if you need to. But they also put better modems in here. So they have the latest and greatest modems out there as options. This one is a um, Chester Tech Repairs a company. It's actually a guy over in, uh, in New York that assembles these and tests these out. And this one is the main event. And this one has a X75 modem in it which is better than like this G5 AR modem, even though it's not even out yet. He's had this one out, I think, for about a year uh, with the X75. So this one does the faster speed. This is how I've gotten over a gig per second of speed uh, download for my T-Mobile. I combined this with a Waveform Quad Pro external antenna, and that is a blazing fast setup uh, in there. And this one also has extra um, Ethernet ports as well as dual SIM cards, so you can put... Um, two SIM cards in there if you really wanted to. You can literally take the SIM card out of this device, put it in here. You have to change some settings in there. I got videos on that. Uh, but then you can be using uh, a kind of an unlocked uh, device here that has a lot more options and settings that you can play with. All right, so stay tuned. As always, I will try to get the G5 AR. They make it very difficult to get it. I have no special connection with T-Mobile, so I have to beg and plead and, and try tactics to get it as well as all the other uh, viewers here. So stay tuned for that. If you have any questions uh, specifically for me or a new video request, please put them down in the comments below. I do read those comments. And I do try to respond to them when, when is appropriate. So thanks everyone for watching and we'll catch you next time.